you have to learn how point cloud data can be used by architects and engineers. If you have a limited information about the point cloud data, or you don't know what point cloud data is, please check our previous video, a pop-up link should be somewhere out there. Point cloud data can be used by engineers and architects to generate as-built project information. This information can be created by either converting the point cloud data into traditional 2D documentation or creating a BIM model. For creating a 2D traditional documentation, if we have a 2D CAD drawing generated through the point cloud information, the process is that you are actually cutting the building horizontally and cutting the building vertically, and you are tracing that cut data. The advantage over here is that it's quicker, as well as it carries very accurate information on the cut. On the other side, you don't know what project information, what data you have when you move your section one meter on the, to the right and one meter to the left. What happens if you move it five meters to the right, five meters to the left? What happens if you move your floor plan half a meter or one meter above your current floor plan height, which could be 1.2 meters, 1.5 meters, depending on where you're located at. This is where the difference comes when you use building information model. The building information model contains all the digital information of the existing as built building. So it contains all the construction information. So you know that your building is accurate up to certain accuracy based on what kind of accuracy you build this building in 3D. And all the 2D information can be directly extracted from this digital model. So everything is interlinked to each other. And you can impose your design directly to in this mission model, which will ensure that your design and construction process will go smoothly because your design is coordinated with your SBL drawings. You can use multiple phases when you use building information model. You can create a building as built building in an existing mode, and you can create a new couple of phases or just one phase, for instance, new construction. You can demolish certain part of the existing and add new additions in the new construction phase, as well as some temporary items. You'll be able to visualize all these data within one single source. So imagine how powerful it will be. It will allow you to visualize and review the complex and unconventional shapes within your buildings. It will improve your decision-making process because you will visualize the building data in a more advanced and more truly phase. You will be able to save time and cost because you will not need to visit the site again and again. You forgot some details to be captured or some additional measurements to be taken because that's how familiar to you and it will make your accuracy much more than the traditional means which is not that accurate workflow and it allows to construction process to go smoothly because your design is directly interlinked with the is built model and the last thing is that the collaboration will be enhanced because digital model and the building information can be shared between the project stakeholders efficiently. We would like to see an example project, how to use point cloud data and how to get benefit of a building information model from the point cloud data, what kind of data can be extracted from it. You can just click on this video. If you'd like to learn more about BIM, you can just click on this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel because every week we will be posting at least one video for you. Don't forget to turn your notifications bell on. See you next time.